Hi everyone, welcome back to my creative ego. So you probably noticed my voice sounds a little hoarse. Well, let's be honest, it's real hoarse. <laughs> but we're gonna get into this Tuesday morning haul and hopefully my cough drops will work by then. So crafting makes me happy. So I figured that's what I should work on. And of course, spread a few LOLs along the way so that you guys also get your weekly dose of LOLs. And let's get started with today's haul. So Tuesday morning, I picked this one up, which is another Spellbinder stamp. Looked really familiar. I will have to, once my cold is over, actually look to see if I have the matching die set for this one. It's actually meant to be a layering stamp, and I really like the design that they showed on here. So what I did is I took my cardstock and I took a little Distress ink and I put that on there. <laughs> Because it's so intricate and ornate with all the designs in there, kind of reminded me of Christmas. So I figured that you could turn this into Christmas lights. All you need is like a green marker, make a little squiggly line, and then layer this on there in different colors. And speaking of Christmas, I did pick up this Ranger stamp set. And also towards the end of the video, I did want to kind of, because Christmas for me went by so fast, I didn't really get a chance to talk about all of my Christmas adventures. So towards the end of the video, I'll talk about that. But I did pick up the stamp set, this stamp set from Ranger, which is actually a stamp and stencil set. You get five stamps and then you get the stencil set in the back. Wow. <laughs> ho, 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 Merry Christmas. And then I was really happy to find this because, I don't know, I think as a crafter, we're always looking for <laughs> new craft inspiration, but it's really nice when we can find them at affordable prices. So I thought that this was really cool. This is the Tim Holtz um, Distress Paper Mosaic Kit. And I did actually test this out. You get two, no, you get three products in here. And it's a simple process. It is basically grout, glue, and glaze. And I did work on this. I put this on a separate video though, because if you've never ever tried this, you know, I wanted to show you guys some of the examples that I did and some of the different types of papers that I used and how the outcomes were. And also I wanted to show you some of the processes that worked and didn't work for me. So that is on a separate video that I will link towards the end of this video. And it'll also be in the description box down below. And then I did notice that there are also some Distress spray stains that were coming into the store. And I only picked this one up, which is called Twisted Citron. <laughs> All kittens aside, you guys. <laughs> it's just a joke, just a joke. The color itself is actually really, really lovely. So you get this really nice, vibrant green, and it's kind of like a... I don't know how to explain it. It's just like a nice limey green apple type green and it's really pretty. I don't know what I'm gonna use it on quite yet, but it is a nice vibrant green color. Next up, we do have more Bow Bunny stamps. And if I forgot to mention it earlier, if you need the SKU number for any of these, please don't forget to go ahead and hit that pause button if you need to look at it a little bit longer. I really need to make some sort of database or inventory of all the stamps that I have so that way I don't have to like pull open all of my drawers to look for it and it'd be easier just to kind of type it in. So maybe I'll do that later on. But yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of drawn to like similar patterns so I don't know if I quite have this one yet or not. This is another stamp set by Bow Bunny, 
And this is a really nice background stamp, and I had a whole bunch of these stamped images that I colored in from my Alice in Winter Wonderland theme that I was doing a couple of months ago. know if I really needed this or not but for the price I was like okay and I will say that I think it's meant to be used by the larger letter punch board I think I might be using the small letter punch board on here it might not even be a punch board image I kind of just keep all similar things in certain areas as embellishment so if I have letters they all go in this one box labeled letters so whether this is for the small punch board or letters that are not even made from the punch board, you can still get use out of this puncher because you can just cut it out or punch it out in whatever color you want, colored cardstock you want, and then just glue it onto the letter itself like I did here because that seemed a lot more simpler to do. <laughs> and speaking of We Are Memory Keepers, I was looking for this punch board last year because I saw it on Gloria's channel and she's Crafty Cake 7 here on YouTube. And I really, really wanted this punch board because it looked like it was so easy to use. And so I kept checking my store for it. I couldn't find it and it actually has a different SKU number. So if you guys are also looking for this, you may wanna also look for it under the SKU number as well. And again, if you need that SKU number, don't forget to hit the pause button. But basically you're able to make tags that are anywhere from one to three and a half inches wide and you can make them as long as you want them. And basically it's so super simple. It's like a three step process. You cut your paper anywhere again between one to three and a half inches and then you bring it over here to this side where you're going to choose one of these lines and you're going to make your first cut. You're going to flip it over and make your second cut and then you bring it down here to actually get the hole punch. And if you guys need a tutorial for it, I will leave Gloria's information in the description box down below. She actually created a tutorial for this punch board. And also from her channel, I found out about this new product line by Craftsmith. Um, it's like a kawaii type collection and it's at Michael's. My Michael's didn't actually have them on display, but there were so many customers that came in asking about it that they kind of just let them go through like the one shipment box that they got. I didn't quite find the things that I was looking for, but I was happy that I found these two sticker sets. And then also on Glory's channel, she was showing all the things that she found on Black Friday. So super happy that I watched her video because after Christmas, I was able to go to Joann's and I knew exactly what I was looking for. And it was 75% off, plus an additional, I think 20 or 25% off, I had a coupon for that. <laughs> I was so behind on my Christmas crafting. I wanted to do my little treat bags and it was kind of like a theme, like um, sweets from around the world, so different countries, things like that. And then I didn't know what I wanted to do for the treat bags. I thought I was gonna use the cellophane, but I don't know, I was just kind of playing around with my stamps. And so I decided to kind of hand stamp everybody's name on there, which I don't know why I did that because I had to place each individual letter onto my stamp block and do that. And then I realized I didn't have enough um, of the craft bags. So I had to go pick more of those up later on. <laughs> And of course, another one of my favorite topics is food. So um, after we celebrated Midnight Mass, we had this really light seafood soup, and then we also had some bread. And the seafood soup, there was crab in there, but we actually saved the crab shell, and then we turned it into stuffed crabs. We also had stuffed mushrooms and a lot of other goodies, but the one goodie that I was really wanting to try to make was my very first Bouche de Noel or Yule cake, and this is how it turned out. So I did create everything from scratch, and it is a long process to create one of these cakes, but really, really fun. So this is my very first Bouche de Noel or Yule log. And as you can see in my handwriting, like I always say, is extremely messy. Um, and then it didn't help that there were some air pockets in my piping bag. <laughs> 
But yeah, I had a fun time making it. I should say that the little mushrooms on here, I found these little chocolate candies because you guys know that I had like this theme of like chocolates from around the world or sweets from around the world. And so I found these little mushroom looking chocolate biscuits and yeah, that's what I used on there. I was going to go around the cake and make the little circles in a lighter color brown, but everyone just wanted to eat dessert already. <laughs> And then last video I did talk about showing you guys this gift wrap, which I picked up at Home Goods. And if you are new to my channel and would like to subscribe, please don't forget to click here. And if you are interested in seeing the Tim Holtz process video for the paper mosaic kit, you can click on this video here. Thank you so much for watching everyone and have a wonderful day.